what else typically goes into the header files? Move it again. I, I, I like this view and I like to switch from one side to another so I typically prefer to work with two files at the same time and this side-by-side -side view is one of my favorite arrangements and when I do my coding because it's rarely that I'm working only on one piece in one file usually it's multiple files so I can just like flip these tabs and see my my files of this you know side by side okay uh, then uh, for instance if I wanted to initialize it with some uh, uh, with with some uh, values uh, like um, say um, initial initial count right if I wanted to do this and um, in something like default max uh, shots if I wanted to create a couple of uh, uh, constant variables instead of initializing these with some uh, with the zeros or some other values I could actually use some default or initial you know to be consistent I will change this to the default as well default uh, uh, short count why not right uh, and uh, default maximum shots uh, I will take both of these <clears throat> and demonstrate that constant variables constant variables are extremely good candidates to be placed in uh, header files so the creation of your constants goes like this both are const constant values okay and you since they're constant values they have to be initialized because they can be provided the value only once I will simply say equals zero constant variables like this global variable declarations but not definitions because only extern uh, keyword is appended to them and then also function prototypes or function declarations these are the three very typical categories that you will find in uh, your header files of course using other includes in your header files is perfectly fine since I already have include IO stream here again I will move it to this side I can then avoid using it here but it's it's no harm is done but I could remove it right because then the include IO stream will come from inside ping pong dot H right so that is another part that typically will be found in your header files so the initial intent of having the header files is to share names between multiple source files and multiple source files like CPP files in our in our environment uh, is a necessity to build realistic software you do not want to write um, uh, your source code in one file you want to use multiple source files and the way to manage it of course just simply create source files and do everything that you need define your function functions define your global variables if you have to use those and everything else but you make it all possible to work together by sharing these uh, header files later on of course we will find out what also primarily and this is the, the really the, the direction in which we're going you will see that the header files will contain declarations of structures and functions because we gradually will be transitioning to object-oriented programming environment and there we will create our own objects but before we can create our own our own, own, own objects in memory we need to define what they are and those definitions or initial declarations of of these uh, objects uh, um, simply classes or structures will go into the header files so that all parts of the program will know what these classes are and you can use and create these objects then uh, without any restriction so that's where we're going uh, I guess uh, uh, what I would like to do now is simply uh, just say um, 
File, Save Everything, right? And just uh, File, um, Close Solution, and get out of here. And just uh, very quickly demonstrate the same thing inside, uh, just very, very quickly, inside the code blocks, because many of you guys are using code blocks at home, and that's why I need to uh, basically do the same steps there as well.